In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to easily make a bar chart in Excel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Aldo and I do work at Microsoft, but I also love making videos how people use their computers better. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see here we have some fake sales data over six months of the amount of fruit that has been sold. The first thing I'd recommend to do is highlight all of that information and then under the Home tab on the right hand side, there's the option of Format as a table. Drop this down and pick what works best for you. I like the nice light blue with columns and then make sure you have the option of my table has headers turned on. This tells Excel that the top row is your table headers and then simply select on OK. You see here it's going to convert that data into nicely formatted tables. What you want to do now is highlight all that information and then in the bottom right hand corner you see there's that little square with the lightning symbol. This is called quick analysis and it's super cool. If we open this up, it's gonna give you a few different formatting options that you can quickly analyze your data with. Things like data bars or color scales or icon sets. And if we choose on the charts, it also has a few recommended charts as well that you could very easily pick any of these charts, select on it, and then go ahead and start editing. But if you don't wanna use one of those pre-selected charts, what you want to do is go over to the insert section and then you'll see here in the middle it has all these different charts. From here you could choose to drop in a 2D column chart or a bar chart. You could choose to even create a line chart or a pie graph um, or if you want to select on recommended charts this shows you a range of different charts. These ones here are recommended by Excel or you can select on all charts and you see here we have a range of different column charts as well as a range of different bar charts. Let's find one that works really well for us. I'm going to select on column chart and then you see here there's a few different options where you can have them stacked together. You can have them stacked on top of each other. You can have 3D charts. You can have 3D stacked column charts. There's so many different options. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pick a really basic one. I'm just going to pick a clustered column chart and you see you have two examples down the bottom. The first one has a month view and the second one has a view of all the different fruits and it focuses more on the fruits and less on the month. I'm going to select on the first one here and simply select on OK. This is going to drop the chart into Excel. Let's make that nice and big now, easy to work with. One thing I would show you is that if you've accidentally selected the wrong column to row, you can use the switch data here. So instead of focusing on the fruit, it's going to focus on the months or vice versa. And it's that easy to insert a chart. You can also use the quick layout options to change some of these layouts around. And this is a really nice way of just easily making a chart that works best for you. And you can also drop down the chart styles and customize your chart very easily with some of the pre-built templates. If you want to get even fancier with this, you can use the plus button and this shows you all the different elements. Uh, so if you wanted to add or remove that chart title, you can also double click on that chart title and give it a name. You can select on your chart again, press the plus button. You can choose to add or remove different parts of the chart here. The option underneath that allows you to change the style of your chart, or you could even choose a few different color themes as well. So find something that works really well for you. And then of course you have the filters. So if you want to remove some information, maybe you don't actually need to see the orange sales for that month. And maybe you want to only have it for the first three months of the year. You can simply unselect these and select on apply. And you see it'll customize your chart for you. Oh, I've also deleted our chart title. Let's add that back in there. Awesome. If you wanted to bring uh, those fruits back, you can of course select on that filter option one more time and bring back those fruits and those months, select on apply and you've customized your chart. If you want to change the title axes, you can double click on this and you can also go ahead and call this number of boxes or whatever it is for your chart. If you wanted to get really fancy with your chart here, you could of course press the plus button. You could even add the data labels. So this has the number of boxes above if each of the columns makes it really easy to read. Or you could even do something super cool like select something like the apples here, right click on it, and then even choose to add something like the trend line. And this will show the trend line. And then you could choose whether you want it linear, 
exponential, a power line, or anything that works best to represent the data you're trying to show. And if you decide you don't want that trend line, simply select on it and hit backspace. And it's that easy to quickly make a bar or a column chart in Excel.